Hello everyone, this is Craig at SDR Media, and this is our YouTube channel in which I hope and pray that if you're new here that you would please subscribe so you can get as much present truth as possible because all things are at hand to come to an end and things are going to get a lot crazier in the world. And because of the things that are getting crazier and crazier in the world, we need to understand the secret societies and the power that is behind all this corruption and all this evil. And so this video today is to simply uh, enlighten everybody to the simple truths that are going on behind the closed doors in this world of these secret societies like with the Illuminati, the Jesuits, the Freemasons, Masonry, Knights of Malta, all those different types of secret societies which have all different offices under the Vatican because all roads lead to Rome. And we are going to understand as much of the secret societies as we possibly can and know each one of their own offices and what have you. And a lot of them basically are nothing more than a bunch of deceivers pretending to be Christians when they are not and they're nothing but a bunch of witches or sorcerers and what have you. And so today we're going to understand what is going on with these secret societies and who are they, where do they exactly come from, who invented all this stuff, and we're going to get down to the bottom of this. And so this is just a simple introduction to understanding about secret societies, which are bent on mankind's destruction, and we are not to be engaged in any secret societies whatsoever. They are secretly controlling the world behind closed doors. They have an appearance of a lamb. They are here to destroy all heretics. They are wicked to the bone. They are bent on destroying all true Christians and anyone that gives them problems. They control all walks of life and all these supposed institutions that are after man's good, which they are not. No political event or circumstance can be evaluated without the knowledge of the Vatican's part in it. A no significant world political situation exists in which the Vatican does not play an important, explicit, or implicit part. They, Catholics, must penetrate wherever possible in the administration of civil affairs. All Catholics should do all in their power to cause the constitution of states and legislation to be modeled on the principles of the true church. And he caused all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their forehead, and that no man might buy or sell save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Here is wisdom. Let him that hath understanding count the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man, and his number is six hundred three score and six. Many institutions today have secrets, especially the Roman Catholic Church, who looks like a pure and wholesome Christian church. But beneath the veil, there is another story of truth that is working secretly through other agencies. When we unmask her history and what she is doing today through these secret societies, we will come to see the most horrific plans to destroy all people off the face of the earth until every non-Catholic is destroyed. The evils that have stemmed and branched out from this institution of the Roman Catholic Church are unbelievable, and to some, inconceivable. The world may point their fingers in some other direction, claiming that it is this person or that person, or this society or that society, or this institution or that institution, which rules the world and what have you. But none can refute the biblical fact and the truth of who the Antichrist is and who his church is, which is the mother of harlots, and is of this institution, the Roman Catholic Church, and her societies that exist in this world that all stem from Rome today. There are many secret societies like the Illuminati, 
Skulls and Bones, The Bilderberg Group, Freemasonry, Assassins, Elders of Zion, Knights Templar, The United Ancient Order of Druids, Knights of Columbus, Knights of Malta, and what have you, the KKK, and all other societies, especially the Jesuit Order, who is the right arm to the Pope. Hence, they have a general in the Jesuit Order, which is the military order of the Pope today. But the Bible is clear. To all those in the world who want to point their fingers to the other institutions or secret societies, such as the Illuminati and what have you, the Bible is perfectly clear to who rules the world and that the seed of Satan, who Satan gives his power to, is that of the Antichrist Pope. And the dragon gave him his power and his seat and great authority. When you look at the office of the Antichrist, you will see how the Antichrist Pope and his general, the Jesuit Order, aka the Black Pope, they're working together. Just like you can see how the President of the United States and his general of the armed forces work together. Which it is clear to the public that the President controls his general and his order. Surely, one can do evil to the other if that elected official or appointed official wants. But the visible authority is seen in every office in these societies to the public. And the Bible reveals that the Antichrist is the head of all this that is upon the earth, that we can see in visible sight. The Pope is the one who is honored, adored, and loved and worshipped by billions of his followers. No other institution or secret society or president or general has the support as a visible ruler in this world like the office of the Antichrist, who is leading all these societies. And they worshipped the dragon which gave power unto the beast. And they worshipped the beast, saying, Who is like unto the beast? Who is able to make war with him? There is none in the world who is able to make war with him, because all the kings of the earth, all the nations and the secret societies that are within them, are all complying with the Pope and his Club of Rome that has instituted the New World Order that is coming upon the land where they will bring about his mark of authority over all the people, which is his Sunday sacredness. And they are going to do this through the powers of the nations at the orders of the General of the Secret Society of the Jesuit Order. See, sir, from this chamber I govern not only to Paris, but to China, not only to China, but to all the world, without anyone knowing how I do it. The Jesuit order is the secret military force for the Pope around the world behind closed doors, and it is through this elite force that the Pope makes his power known to the public. The Jesuits have created and overtaken most societies, if not all, throughout the years as they press forward with the Antichrist plans to be worshipped above God, the Creator, in this new world order, which is almost completed and ready for implementation throughout this world, again to worship the Pope and receive his mark. Sunday is our mark of authority. The Church is above the Bible, and this transference of Sabbath observance is proof of that fact. Catholic Record of London, Ontario, September 1st, 1923. They go on to say that the authority of the Church could therefore not be bound to the authority of the Scriptures, because the Church had changed the Sabbath into Sunday, not by the command of Christ, but by its own authority. Canon and Traditions, page 263. And it is through his Sunday worship where he receives homage and worship and praise from the world over that which belongs to God. The Bible had warned us in Daniel 7.25 that the Antichrist would seek to change times and laws of God. And the Bible warns us of this modern day Judas called the Jesuits who profess the name of Christ, but they are nothing more 
than wolves dressed in sheep's clothing. Beware of false prophets which come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly they are ravening wolves. Francesco Borgia, third Jesuit superior general, quotes, we came in like lambs and we will rule like wolves. Truly, they have infiltrated all walks of life and they have penetrated everywhere they possibly can. And now the wolves have come to fulfill their purpose in controlling the world and bringing them to that day, the mark of the beast that will be enforced soon to worship the Antichrist Pope. Peace. Slaying by sword or burning their victims alive, the Catholic priests enforced them to follow their teachings while holding the cross in front of them. The persecution of anti-Catholics as a large-scale massacre. In 1209, 6,000 were slain to death in Berziers. In 1211 AD, 100,000 Christians were slaughtered in Lavar. Though the massacre at Menendal was 500 women, they were locked in a room and were burned to death. In the massacre of Orange, the Italian army sent in by Pope Pius IV was commanded to slay the men, women, and children. In 1572, approximately 100,000 people were massacred in Paris, France. And he shall speak great words against the Most High, and shall wear out the saints of the Most High, and think to change times and laws. And they shall be given into his hand until a time and times and the dividing of time. As it was prophesied, the one who speaks against the Most High will make war with the saints and conquer them. History records over 50 million people have been slaughtered during the rule of the papacy for not bowing their knee to the Pope. This organization proposes in every possible way to aid in preserving Sunday as a civil institution. Our national security requires the active support of all good citizens in the maintenance of our American Sabbath. Sunday laws must be enforced.